What's going on YouTube? This is Little Ren with the Aficionados. I'm at AFCON 2015 and it's been so far really cool. There have been a lot of great costumes going on, a lot of great cosplays. And speaking of cosplays, I'm sitting here next to the owner of Avenged Cosplay, Matt Cook. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm great. You know, it's been a drive up here, but you know, once you get in the middle of this, everything is like so much fun. You can tell there's a lot of energy here. A lot of people having a lot of fun. And then I find your costume pieces and we just have talked to you about them. So tell us a little bit more about Avenged Cosplay. Uh, well, I, I, you know, it all started with uh, the original, you know, Iron Man movie coming out. I saw the suit and, you know, like a five-year-old boy on Christmas morning, I had to have that. So, I couldn't buy one, so I made it. And that's how this whole thing started for me. And, um, and then, you know, as I started to get more familiar with uh, the cosplay scene and, and looking at prices and what people charge for certain things and, and all the, the scamming and, and, you know, just, uh, you know, cosplay should be fun, not expensive. It should be affordable. There should be a way for you to get what you want some way, somehow, you know. And, uh, you know, I believe in doing the right thing, uh, you know, having integrity, you know, and, and, and just, you know, looking out for the people that have been taken advantage of because those people are always going to come back and they're always going to support you and always speak highly of you and you know it, it it builds its own foundation and its own backing and you know it's what makes the company strong is everybody that follows it right you know and you know speaking of followers i feel like you don't have nearly enough followers on your social media site as you can physically see, but you've been in this game for a while and you just recently moved into uh, Georgia. So where'd you come from and kind of like, what is your you know next step for kind of building that? Do you not care about your you know amount of Facebook? Cause you know, you have a lot of followers other than that. Well, you know, um, you know, the, the Facebook thing and everything, it's gonna do its own thing. You know, you, you can only promote and, and, and get your name out there as much as you possibly can. You can only do so much. Where it's really going to blow up and, and take, you know, you know, to the to the stars is is everybody that believes in what I'm trying to do here. Um, you know, it, it, if you believe in in a product, it's going to sell and it's going to, you know, it's going to take off. You know, and it, and and that's what it is. You know, without a doubt in people's minds, you know, they, they know that they can come here to 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 my company and with the people that I have working on, you know, board with me. They know that they're going to get a quality costume. They know they're not going to pay through the nose for it. Mm -hmm. And they know that they're in good hands. You know, anytime you have a problem with one of my pieces or whatever, send it back, I'll fix it. I have no problem, you know, taking care of, of you know, of a friend. I, I never use the word, when I commission a job for somebody, I never use the word um, client or uh, you know, customer, you know, those are pet peeves of mine, you know, anytime I commission a costume for somebody, they have my personal cell phone number, you know, they can reach me directly, and, you know, I consider, I, I consider them a friend, and I call them friend, and anybody can, that, that has bought something from me, you can ask them, I talk to them frequently on a daily basis, you know, I, yeah, yeah, absolutely, I, you know, I, I keep in touch with everybody that, you know, buys something or, you know, is affiliated with me and, you know, and has supported me, you know, you know. Um, so what are some of the, your favorite cons that you've attended so far and what are some of the costumes that you've enjoyed wearing and making so far? Well, you know, um, a absolutely my favorite con of course is Dragon Con. I mean you, you can't, I mean you, you, you just, you know, I haven't seen anything better than that, you there know. Isn't, and, there isn't anything better. No, and, and you know, yeah. I've been to some of the, you know, conventions down in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, you know, and that's where I originally bur uh, built my first Iron Man suit, the Mark IV. And, uh, you know, um, I moved up here with my wife and, you know, she thought the the whole costume thing was just oh he'll get it out of his system you know um but no it, did you know it, yeah it, it 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 took off and uh you know um unfortunately i never get to wear any of my stuff oh. i never get to uh you know uh build anything for myself you know um which is okay though mm -hmm. you know because to me the most rewarding part is it's not the money and stuff I, i'd give this stuff away free if i could um but the fact is that materials cost money, right. you know. But the, the 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 best thing and the most rewarding thing to me is seeing the look or the post that they put on Facebook or social media or or the, the videos or the thank you gifts that people send me that they've done with their own, you know, hands or whatever, you know. 
that excitement where you feel like you're a child again and you just got the best Christmas present that you've ever had in your entire life where you're just screaming yeah, you're just like, oh my gosh I can't believe how great this is and like if anyone got anything from you it would be ultimately wonderful I mean you can see the craftsmanship of his um, you know his Iron Man helmet this is Iron Man the this is the Mark 4 helmet this is the Mark 4 yeah. here and that's the this is my red hood helmet here yes. that's the 4243 and this is the uh, custom crossover uh, Power Ranger helmet for Jason David Frank. Well, it's not for him, but it's <laughs> from his character. I mean, he might see it and want it. I certainly hope so. <laughs> I certainly hope so. I, I, I would love to get, you know, an autographed one and just keep it for myself. But, um, you know, this, I, there's a couple guys trying to race me with this to mm -hmm. get it done, but I'm not worried. Right. And I mean, this is... This is basically your artwork, you know, like you said, you don't mind if, you know, you don't wear it as often, but others wear it. It's like being able to display your art somewhere else. And you know cosplayers will take photos of them. They will be at conventions getting other photos taken of them. And, you know, that's that's the best thing I think like an, an artist or someone who has a craft like that can ask for. And, you know, you're doing it from your heart. And I think ultimately that makes this in, like exponentially better. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, like if, like anybody that has, you know, that they have their job field or their career, they love what they do, you know? And and, and, and me, I love to do this. This isn't a job. I, I have a full-time job that I do during the day and, you know, and then I come home in the morning and at night and I do this other stuff because I know that, you know, to, to, to get going and to actually build something that, uh, you know, will then take on a, a snowball effect by itself is, you know, the focus and you know stay focused on the goal right. you know and, and the bigger picture you know I, I mean i know it takes a long time but it's not all for naught you know right. it's uh you know each bit of, of of time that you put into these is a, a piece of yourself and you know if you have the integrity and i put these pieces out with my name on them and if i don't think it's perfect or it's something that's gonna catch an eye or you know or just wow mm -hmm. you know I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to send it out because it's got my name on it you know and, and, and I don't want somebody to think less of me because you know they don't care for it or or you know and there's a lot of personal opinions and everything like that exactly. and it, you know I I I understand you know and, and everybody has them and uh, you know constructive criticism is the best thing I actually have you know um, and, you know, I've been, you know, I've had a couple, you know, where the people, is this and that, but you know what, you, you, you shake them off and you keep rolling forward, you know, you, you leave that stuff behind you because it's only going to slow you down. Right. And so. you know what, and that is really good. That's really good advice for really anyone at any level in the cosplay community because you have a lot of people who are just starting out and you know they're they're trying to work towards something but they want to show off get some skills and you have people who will always I mean there's always gonna be the Debbie Downers and the people who come in and say something and even with a level of work and craftsmanship that you have knowing that people are still gonna be like well I don't know but you know it's there's people like that at every level so you know how I see it is no matter what level of costuming you're at don't take those things to heart that the negative people say. Oh, no. I mean, you know, of course, you know, th those those things, they, they, they hurt a little bit. But, you know, if you can learn to, um, you know, turn it around for a positive thing, you know, um, it's only going to make you better and stronger, you know. Um, and, you know, if, you know, uh, knowledge is free. And, you know, all my stuff I had to learn and teach myself from trial and error. And I'm... I'm type of guy is to think outside of the box right. so I have all different creative styles and things tricks of the trade and things that you know that you wouldn't think to do that makes the job so much easier it it gets you the better finished product you know and 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 if anybody you know needs help um, my page is open yeah. you know um, they can message me and ask me for any type of advice knowledge is free I have no problem you know so sharing. what are the best ways to get in touch with you and get some of your knowledge or to commission get something commissioned from you um well actually uh, uh you can when i uh, you can reach me on my facebook page of course once you do that i'll even give out you know my personal cell phone number you know um for when you commission me uh that way there is no messaging tag back and forth through right. facebook social media that you can call me directly you can send me a text directly, and if you're in the area, you can even come by the shop. Okay. 
I mean, I, I, I'll never put something out, uh, especially a custom piece, without the person who, uh, who's the boss, <laughs> right. um, doesn't approve or sign off on it, right. you know? And if, if, I, if I do a paint job and they don't like it, okay, we'll repaint it. All right. You know? So you guys are dealing with a professional here. If you're out there, you want to get into cosplay or you want to up your cosplay and you just don't know how to quite get there, please give Matt a call or, you know, send him a message and then you can give him a call. He's, you're really professional about this. Anyone can see that your work is done with the utmost craftsmanship and professionalness. So we're going to um, continue following you and I know that you're gonna you. you're gonna boom. We can't wait to see what you you know some of your costumes at Dragon Con and the next few cons coming up. Yeah. So um, you know, thank you for coming to AFCON. Thank you for talking thank with us. And um, we're gonna get some more interviews for you guys. So check out all of our footage on Aficionados um, YouTube channel and also you know Instagram. We're gonna have some pictures up there for you too. All right, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. And uh, we're always gonna bring you some awesome people at some awesome conventions. Talk to you guys later.